Hi folks, I would like to illustrate to you the racism on the part of liberals in these here United States of America to which you know a lot of you probably say really or as we say in Japan Majikayo! Liberals in the United States, specifically Democrats, they like to engage in something known as identity politics. They keep the nation divided by your ethnic background, which is basically racism. Now recently an article that appeared, a column I should say, that appeared in the Dallas Morning News having to do with the war on drugs in this country. Why the war on drugs is basically a war on black Americans. Because according to this author here, a Robin Short, she quotes notable conservative Republican politicians and then she interprets them as being racist. Even though in the quote itself you won't find anything racism. But she found it. Anytime you talk negative about drug use and abuse while you're talking about black Americans. Huh? In order for her to hallucinate that, she must into her, unto herself believe that it's only black Americans who have a drug abuse problem. You see, when you read this, you're going to think to yourself, Call it gee walkers. There's no drug abuse by Caucasians in this country. There's no drug abuse by Hispanics in this country. There's no drug abuse by Asians. Well, it's probably true. No, by Asians in this country. There's no drug abuse by Native Americans. Just black Americans. Let's look at some of the notable quotes by this author where she attributes racism to notable conservatives. Let's look at the subheadline. War on drugs, for example, was an assault on black people. Yeah, if you're going to fight drug abuse, why are you going to fight black Americans? Because once again, they're the only ones afflicted with drug addiction. They're the only ones that sell drugs on the streets. On the black people. And if you don't believe me, just read her article. Let's, <laughs> let's go further into this hallucination. She writes, Consider the language of President Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, and Bill Clinton, who happens to not be a Republican. But she further writes down there that Nixon's aide, John Ehrlichman, said the war on drugs was designed as a political tool to fight blacks and hippies. What? She attributed it to Nixon, but she quotes John Ehrlichman. John Ehrlichman and Richard Nixon were not the same person. They were two different people. So if John Ehrlichman said it, if he said it, he's the racist, not Richard Nixon. But she tries to hallucinate it was Richard Nixon, although she identifies who really said it. Let's continue. In his remarks to the nation on June 17, 1971, Nixon stated, America's public enemy number one in the United States is drug abuse. In order to fight and wage a new all-out offensive. Now she takes that all-out offensive further down. All-out offensive on an enemy. Black America. Yeah! So if you're going to have an all-out offensive on drug abuse, well, it naturally has to be black America. Because according to this hallucination, it's only black Americans that are abusing drugs. Nixon didn't say it. She said it. Excuse me. She wrote it in her article, her column. Let's go further. Nixon's war against blacks became a rallying cry for politicians for the next four decades. Reagan said, we intend to do what is necessary to end the drug menace to eliminate this dark, evil enemy within. Now if you notice, nowhere was a race or color of the skin mentioned. But according to her, that means black Americans. Let's continue with this hallucination. Media campaign associating these words with the imagery of black people. What? Every time I saw something on the war on drugs, I noticed it was very rarely did it illustrate black people. But she saw black people even though... <laughs> Because of identity politics and because of racism within the hearts of these liberals. Shall we continue further with this hallucination? The Reagan administration created and perpetuated the imagery 
of crack hoers and crack babies dehumanizing words used as weapons and accurately directed towards the black community. So let me see if I understand this correctly. If you're a crack hoer and you have a crack baby, well, it's only black people who do that. I mean, that's what she's elucidating right there. Once again, the other ethnic groups and communities in the United States had no such thing. Only black Americans. And you, we, we know that's true. You want to know why? Because she wrote it in this article. What, are you stupid? Let's read further her racist hallucinations. Not content with just picking on the drug abuse, she then continues with, Blacks face police brutality and street-level executions at the hands of the police. See, she has to extrapolate other areas that have nothing to do with drug abuse in this country. And if she's talking about blacks being executed at the hands of the police, well, how come this wonderful liberal did not mention the fact that blacks are being executed at the hands of blacks on the streets in Chicago? Why didn't she mention that? Is another hallucination? Another illustration of racism on the part of liberals in this country? Read the article for yourself and you will see where she's hallucinating this racism where it doesn't exist. Only in her heart, in her mind, in her writing. And these here United States of America. Alright folks, we'll start, listen, let me back up. I'm not saying she's a racist, but she's a victim of her own liberalism, which liberalism unto itself is racist. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.